Welcome to Online Worship with South Norwood Baptist Church. My name is Debbie. Great to have you with us. Please enjoy our service today.
Lord, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your endless love. I want to thank you, Lord, for picking us up no matter how many times we stumble and fall. I want to thank you, Lord, for the love, the endless love you give us. No matter if we're on that narrow path that you want us on, Lord, or if we're slightly straying to the side. I want to thank you, Lord, that you are the same today. You are the same yesterday, and you will be the same tomorrow, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that you are the same regardless of what situation or what circumstance we are going through. I thank you, Lord, that you are the same in the good times. You are the same in the challenging times. And you are the same in the confusing times, Lord. And I just want to thank you, Lord, that no matter what we are going through today, no matter what circumstance we are facing, Lord, that you are with us. I want to thank you, Lord, for your holy presence. I want to thank you, Lord, for the comfort that your holy presence gives us, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that we can cry out to you at any time, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that you are always there. I want to thank you, Lord, that you are never, never far from us, Lord, and that all you need is for us to draw nearer to you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, for all the times that you have forgiven us, for all the times, Lord, when we have done things that haven't made you proud, but you still loved us anyways, Lord. I want to thank you for all the encouragement, Lord. I want to thank you for all the growth and all the development, Lord. And I want to thank you, Lord, that no matter what we are facing today, that you, Lord, are our source. I want to thank you, Lord, that if we humble ourselves, if we call out your name, Lord, you will be there, Lord. And I just pray, Father, that you will really strengthen us today, Lord, that no matter what we are facing, we know we can face in you. We know that no matter what challenge we have, it is not bigger than you, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, that we are able to put that in perspective. I want to thank you for that never-ending, Lord, that n the love, Lord, that is just no strings attached. I want to thank you, Lord, for the purity of that, because there isn't anything else or any other areas that any of us are ever around, Lord, where we have that purity, that unconditional love, that unconditional reassurance, Lord. I just want to thank you today, Lord, and I just pray, Father, that we will all come to you in our times of need. We will come to you in our times of triumph. We will come to you in our times of difficulties, Lord. We will come to you during every time, Lord, because you are there. I want to thank you, God, that you are there always and forever. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Hello, I'm the Reverend Helen Stokely. Um, I'm a Baptist minister and I presently work at Spurgeon's College, just up the hill from South Norway Baptist Church. And today I'm here in this short video to reflect on Matthew 26, verses 17 to 30 where it reads as follows. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The son of man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the son of man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. And Jesus answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So maybe it's a familiar passage to you. Matthew records the events of the Last Supper. Jesus has instructed his disciples to celebrate Passover by going to a man's house, taking it over and organising a meal. We read and we just heard in that verse that Jesus said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So I want us to think just for a few moments about what it would be like if we were that man who Jesus and the disciples approached. Imagine you were going about your normal business, maybe children playing outside your front door in the sand, and some random men known to follow the teacher Jesus come and tell you that they're coming to celebrate the Passover dinner. No request, just an instruction. How would you feel? That's quite an interruption into a day's plan. That's quite a different day than maybe the one the man and his family had planned. And that's what I'd like us to reflect on in this short talk. I'd like us to reflect on, are we willing to let Jesus interrupt our schedule? And are we willing to let Jesus use the things that we have? Another way to put it is maybe, you know, are we willing to trust Jesus with all that we have, all our material possessions, family plans? And are we allow, are we willing, are we to allow him just to interrupt what we had planned and follow what he would have us do? You see, the man in the story lets Jesus use what we find out in other gospel records as the upper room. And we can speculate, you know, for that man, was it a costly thing to do to let Jesus and the disciples come for the Passover? Was it inconvenient? Was it annoying? Or actually, was it fine? Just an everyday event? We don't really know. But what we don't read in this passage in Matthew is any resistance from the man. We read that the man was asked and he offers what he has. Asked and offers. So today, what do you have? Maybe a room, a home, money, time, knowledge? My question is, how willing are you to offer what you have to Jesus? Or if he asked you, if the disciples and Jesus stood in front of you and asked you for something, how willing would you be to let your day be interrupted and to allow them to use your resources. Why do I ask? Because as we probably all know that as we read on in this passage in Matthew and we follow the events through, we see that Jesus actually after that Passover was willing to offer himself, his very life, his death on the cross, so that we could be saved, so that our wrong things that we do could be overlooked so that we can have life eternal with God in heaven. You see, if Jesus is willing to give up everything for you and for me, the least we can do is offer him what we have. So today I encourage you to take a moment and think about what you have. Maybe it's time, Resources, space, talents, time to pray, knowledge. And I want you to reflect. Are you willing to offer them now to Jesus? What could be achieved if you offered all that you had to Jesus today? What could be achieved if you allowed Jesus to interrupt your schedule and have his will and way with your day? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have all received blessings from you. 
And Lord, we are so grateful for what you did on the cross for each one of us. But Lord, today we know that actually we get too wrapped up in our own plans, in our own schedules. And Lord, we pray that by your Holy Spirit, you would teach us to allow interruptions into our lives. That Lord, that you would teach us to offer all that we have to you for your glory, for your will. So Lord, please make us people who can be interrupted and who are willing to offer <clears throat> all that we have to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that was uh, something that maybe challenged you today and I encourage you to continue reflecting on it as you go throughout your day. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today if you would like further information then please get in touch and please subscribe to this channel god bless in the meantime